Well, welcome guys, this is Monk Jam Gaming, and this is our AN94 test setup video. So here it is now on screen. If you'd like to pause, then pause. So basically, I have a um, first perk of Hardline, then I have a second perk of Fast Hands, with third perk of Dexterity. I'll go over these in a minute, but then our gun obviously is AN94 with attachments of Quick Draw, Stock. An extended clip it also has a graffiti camo which i actually recommend if you want to get any um dlc camo camo now the um you need the primary gunfighter to be able to equip the one that's red which is extended clip now <laughs> um so i use hardline to be able to get those kill streaks a lot quicker and then I use fast hands because if I'm using extended mag, then I won't be able to use fast mag. So I need to be able to switch my mag out quickly, but still have a high capacity mag. Now dexterity helps to get your gun up quicker and to be able to win those all important gunfights. Now the sun attacks is good for throwing around, good at chuck around, and then also the flung uh, the flashbang is good for rooms and stuff. I don't use a secondary. You can always pick one up off the floor. So you can have more attachments and make your main weapon the best weapon. Now, quick draw has helped for getting those quick the gun up quick for the gunfights. Stock also helps improve your aim as soon as you go into that way, as soon as you go into that sights to fi fire down the sights at some guy. You want to be able to aim steadily, and um, then extend a clip is so I don't have to reload every second unless I have time, and. Um, I'll be showing a quick video now of me playing them, so thanks. Okay, and hello guys, this is the quick video. I uh, just want to say a bit of audio commentary on it. So, basically, we're starting off on Nuketown. I'm just going to go through the house here. So you can see i got my N94, making good use of the flashbang there, which didn't actually get anyone, but it, did, it does help to suppress enemies. They don't want to walk into it, they don't want to run into it. So, yeah, and there goes a uh, good use of the Suntex gun over there. I nearly got a kill with it if it just docked down. Then I would have got a guy who got killed, who got a kill from the side there. And then we would have been one kill less. One death less, I mean. So here I'm on three people. I do actually get one of them. I get three hit markers on one and then a uh, one hit marker on the other. So really what I wanted was um, all four to be on one guy. Now there I... Um, jump out the way of a guy so there's good use of the suntex again but it goes over high then i get the flashbang out in just a second go over that area try and see where the spawn is it doesn't get used but i look through this fence now to see if there's anyone in there now these are key things you got to be able to look through fences and um be able to know where guys are so then you walk out you get ready and i think you'll find some guys under the stairs in a minute no no his last spawn was it so um, we switched spawns because we uh, went in hard on them. This guy over there, I, I still that guy's kill, don't mean to, I was going to go for him first. But he gets his own back on me in a minute. Now this makes good use of the extended clip, you know, to fire a million or 40 rounds into the guy. Into the wall, suppressing him, keeping him down. So I end up getting the kill on the second clip. Now I run after this guy, and this is where the, um, like, that should have been my kill, but the other guy got it, so it's fine. So it's even now. There's a guy here, I take him. And then I see a guy in the window, but I don't actually try and take him, because I think this guy's coming through here. Then we go back, and the spawns have switched again. Now don't usually sit there, because it's not the best place to sit. If you're going to sit there, you need to come out different places. And now there's different guys. So back to their spawn. It's what we need to keep doing, just suppressing their spawn. Now I run out of ammo here, so I don't have scavenger. I'm uh so I die in a second, which is alright. I don't have scavenger because I'm uh, first prestige level twenty uh thirty-three here, so it doesn't go well. I need to go up 11 levels, but I should be able to do that in the next couple of games. 
I get that guy? No, I don't. No. And all right, so I pick up the case, choose the secondary weapon. Take out the guy over the wide. Again, there's that top I didn't notice him at the time. And then this makes fun of the KSG. I did miss a couple of shots there. Oh, I was going to go for that guy, but that guy took him already. So this has just been a uh, nice preview to the AM94 class setup. Um, basically, it's a good gun. It's the best gun. What I recommend is that when you prestige, uh, choose it as a... Um, the gun that you want to keep forever because of it is a good gun and then I don't know what I'm going to choose for the second gun I will have a video on my second prestiging so when I have that I will make a video on it now this is coming to an end soon I do get quite a nice kill there over there if I park that car might have threw a Semtex in there maybe go for use again but didn't get anyone there's a guy in the corner, I missed him again because he was AFK. Well, AFG, away from the game, and then away from the keyboard. Yep, let's take that one. Oh, I got taken out from the side, that's not too good. Blist, no. Right, have a little jump around. Jump around. Right, take that guy. Did struggle to get some kills about this time. Everybody started using the shotguns and stuff, so check that out over the top. Don't end up getting anyone. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I end up getting 20 to 5. Pretty good. So, see you later. Right, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. Does help. Press the little button.